All right, what is up, my friends? Welcome. We're playing Standard, playing Worlds decks. This is one of the most interesting decks from, decks from Worlds. Deck that Simon Nielsen, our Player of the Year, took to a top four finish, I believe. And uh, I played against Simon's teammate at one point, playing my white, my, my white white humans deck. Really good matchup for us, thankfully. Uh, but this deck was a uh, very, very good and very, very odd deck list here, honestly. A lot of really unique choices in this Soldier's deck. Uh, cards you don't normally see, and a lot of cards in here that you would normally see, but you don't see here. So... For a Lunar Veteran, I love this card. I'm a huge fan of this card, the Soul Warden with a little extra value. Not a soldier, but a way to kind of like gain life and kind of race against the Esper Legends decks, against the Mono Red decks. Plays really well with the Wedding Announcements, obviously, which is super cool. Uh, playing Regal Bunicorn, not a soldier either, uh, but still a card which gets really, really big, obviously, as the game goes on. Good card to win the game with. Um, and then uh, Werefox Bodyguard, kind of a weird one-up, just as a removal spell. Four main deck wedding announcements. Often this card's found in a sideboard uh, for like grinding matchups, but playing for the main, which is kind of cool. And what you're not seeing here is the two-mana Lord, um, which is a common card to see in the soldier decks. And then also the Sky Strike Officer, a three-drop that allows you to, um, to tap soldiers and draw cards and make soldiers. Neither of those cards present here. This is a, kind of like a real flashy... Uh, soldier deck with the uh, counter spells main deck four make disappears four sentinels four reinforcements the ability to play at instant speed really good against the control decks really good against the ramp decks and then also the ability to be aggressive as well with the united herons and the harvards and so on and so forth so like last year a lot honestly really really cool deck sideboard has some extra counter spells in it extra removal spells you get the idea and of course simon's really really good part of team handshake and uh, team handshake three of them played this deck uh simon and then two others and um yeah, it's pretty cool. So let's get right into the games. Uh, brought to you by the upcoming Command Fest Orlando. Command Fest Orlando is coming October 20th to 22nd. So get ready for a weekend full of Magic the Gathering in one of the country's premier vacation destinations. Get your tickets now at commandfestorlando.com. Chat asks, why was my white humans that good against this particular list at Worlds? Uh, because the cards they have at scale, like the Lord and the Sky Strike Officer, the white deck doesn't kill creatures particularly well. Um, and so, like, the they just kind of, like, played creatures and soul wards. But the white deck goes really, really big. It just plays huge Adelines, pumps your whole team up. And they just didn't have any removal spells either. So, like, they couldn't really overpower with the card draw on the Sky Shark Officer or the Lord effects. And they couldn't really kill my stuff either. So, it's just, like, play big thing, play big thing, play Adeline, play big thing, play big thing. So... All right, on the play here, we have Veteran Reinforcements and Wedding Announcement into the Knight. This... Oh, my God, this hand... This hand is it. Love all of these cards. We get a, a possible turn. Uh, well, he has the announcement, but if we miss a land drop, we might still cast this on turn three, which is kind of awesome. So, Pony takes a mulligan. Fire up the veteran. And it's funny because I actually built a deck like a long time ago. It was um, for one of my 10 new brews. It was a blue white like token deck. With veteran wedding announcement, the counter spells and stuff like that, it was actually a really really sweet deck. I liked it a lot. Um, put like overcharged amalgam and some stuff. Uh, never really took off, obviously, but kind of similar idea. Esper something could be legends. Could, no, not not legends. They didn't play anything, but it could be control or mid range. Control is obviously a little rough for us, but here's a reinforcements. Do they have a make disappear? We shall find out. If they do, we're slamming the wedding very, very happily. Wow. Got him. Bingo. Oh. Nice day for her. Go. Gain a life. So are they control or are they legends? Here's a fortress. I mean, uh, mid-range. Still nothing yet. Here's a beachhead. I currently have a soldier in my hand. I can't do that. Um, kind of like second wedding announcement, but also think that getting a counter would kind of suck too. Um, could also reinforcements and then cast knight. That would also get me disappeared into beware of sunfall. Also, all right, let's, um, let's just jam. Let's start there. See if they have like the two, the, the two, two virtue. This guy is just like, I mean... Gains life. It helps you win races against Esper and, and Aggro decks. It is two creatures in one, which is kind of nice also. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't really know exactly why they included this card when this card hasn't been seen playing literally anything. But I love this card. I think it's actually like, pretty good. So it's, it's vindicated for me to see this card in the deck. All right. 
Hopefully no counterspell. Cut down. Phenomenal. Love it. Couldn't ask for a better thing than to play here, honestly. Watch I play this tapped. Let's draw drop. Draw counterspell. Oh yeah, now we're off to the races here, folks. Is that for Sentinel's best card in this deck? I agree. Uh, this deck has the real, like, flash uh, upside of, like... Ooh, that's pretty good against this, actually. Uh, where you just, like, say go every turn, and you probably have no idea what you have. Um, we don't actually have any ways to remove that. We've got... Yeah, we've got one Were Fox Bodyguard. It's got to overpower us one. All right, we can do that, though. We draw another Knight Errant. Um, we can go reinforcements. We also, the life gain from veteran also offsets the shoulder too, which is kind of sick. So, play this untapped. Unfortunately, if I play the knight errant though, I can't, uh, I can't make spear. I think it's fine though. I'm just gonna freaking jam. It's just jam. Jam is board. I think they're, I think they're playing mid-range and not playing, not playing, uh, stuff, so. And we got bunnicorn. We got the bodyguard, actually. It's kind of gas. So bodyguard can deal with shouldered. There's no way they're playing shouldered and wrath, so they're probably just playing mid-range. So just want to go big, big, big. So there you go. Gain life, make a token, gain life, make a token. Flip, 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 go, 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 go. Huge. Monstrous creatures. 8-8. Eight, eight. Ready to go. Denic, yeah, so. And this is like, it's interesting because like, normally you would think that the deck that they can't remove Shouldered won't be able to beat it. But this deck can just kind of go over the top of it, which is super sweet. Need a Harvard? We don't need anything right now. We're good. We don't need anything. We're, 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 we're good to go here. We have everything we ever wanted. So only fear here would be, oh, never mind. Let's go over the road. Sure. Take four, no problem. Now we should jam back for a million. Actually, we can't attack with this thing yet, but that's fine. Um, do I want a bodyguard here or no? Can leave up my mate disappear. Evoke this thing. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's it's the birthday boy. Come here, kid. Everyone's a happy birthday to Cassie. And his birthday party was yesterday. Oh, you won. We did it. Okay. Say hi to Cassie. I don't care. I'm losing my viewers. I don't care. He said hi, Dad. Two days ago was Cassie's first birthday. And yesterday was his birthday party. Birthday party, like birthday party, yeah, 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 yeah. Birthday party, birthday party, yeah, 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 yeah. Dun, 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 Got a sideboard, kid. Birthday party. All right, so. Cake and cheese noodles. So, uh, mid-range, we're going to want what? Probably these emperors. Um, Destroy evil. They have their own wedding announcements. Not sure, honestly. The counter spells are like a little more mid against them. Uh, I want these emperors. Not the welcomes too. It's kind of off against shoulder, honestly. And do I want bunny corn just like dies to go for the throat? I would say we don't want the counter spells on the draw at least. Um, and I would say we want maybe like two destroy evil for shoulder, and then also maybe wedding announcement. And then do I want any bunny corns? Do I want anything else? They're all saying happy birthday, Cassie, and look at them. They say happy birthday to you. Is it your birthday? Cassie, it's your birthday. Happy birthday, Cassie. Um, Bunnicorn. I'm going to bring in two welcomes. A little bit of grind. Uh, the Bunnicorns run the draw, just like... I don't know. It's kind of tough, actually, because they, um... They're going to have... Have her fiend and stuff. It might curb out. More standard bands. Why? Standard's great right now. Yeah, I guess this is fine. Maybe I actually don't want these on the draw. Let me leave, leave, leave the bunnies in. We're a little soft to her fiend. They have like a good her fiend draw. We're a little soft to it, but. Let's see what we can do. Definitely not a very good draw on their part of that game. All right, this hand is good. We keep this. Uh, two. Oh, 
Karn tier two, in case you were wondering. All right, so Frontliner. I just love seeing cards like this see play too. You know, it's a fun little nuts and bolts card. It's freaking one one for one. Let's go. Here's Danik. That's not good. Uh, here's a Bunnicorn. So we can like Harbrin. Um. I want to get Knight Errant going next turn for sure. So next turn we can go reinforcements. Yeah, I'll just play Harbin as they go. Yeah, Bunny War is not great against Expert. I agree, but I think that um I think that on the play I want the counter spells, but cut down's nasty here. That's rude. Very rude. Legendary lands do give you an aspect of interaction in a deck that's not playing many spells, which is kind of nice. So Odawara and Aganjo definitely like let you do some kind of stuff, which is cool. Leave up, leave up a possible counter spell here, which kind of blows, but um, can't actually cast um, a Knight Errant. So we're just gonna say go. I think with the reinforcements up. Yeah, they could have a, a fairy thingy, but whatever. Oh, that's bad. Oh, no. Oh, man. We walk right into that one. Oh, no. Cassian. That was dumb. Uh, I was thinking Fairy Mastermind. I forgot for, for, for this card existed. Um, our solution here is just to bounce it. Yeah, so made a mistake. You need to fix your mistake. It's fine. Just bounce it. Not. Yeah, I know. I'm mad too, Cassian. Have a board so next turn I can go reinforcements, bunny corn, and knight. Are you clapping because I made a mistake? I think it's funny. You think it's funny? That's a new tricky key up. Collapse. Here they come. No blocks. Fine, we're kind of missing the uh, the life gain guy this game a little bit. This has been a life gain guy, and a lot better. So now they're ahead on life. So now they have to cast shoulder, shoulder or something like that. We're kind of in trouble. Lord Skitter post combat. It's these people, Cassian. You know, these people. Let me tell you. All right, so we're going to go everything. We're going to go land, bunicorn, reinforcements. Reinforcements have arrived. <laughs> All right, so they go. They kill this and swing. It's a pretty big attack, but our board looks better now. Cast Virtue. Make a token. Then no attacks. That's my face, dude. We draw Officer. Okay. Um. So, attack five more soldiers. We have, ow, my eye, dude. Come on, man. What are you doing? One, two, three. We have four soldiers. This is a knight. All right. I mean, like, this is getting a little ugly, but we could use the, the harbor maybe to kind of go nuts. Um, let's play officer. Dude, what are you doing, man? What are you doing, dude? We're going to go tap one, two, three, four. Yeah, let's go... Let's cast the knight and go one, two, three, four, and then land. I guess it means I can't find another one. I don't know if I'm wrong, but another harbor is great. Uh, and now I get to go Mirix. They know about all of them, but attack with the Zephyr Sentinel. And then does a bunny car want to get in? And then try and set up for a harbor attack next turn. They know I have both, which kind of sucks, but. We also need to not die, I guess, right? Yeah, you need to not die, so we have some... Yeah, it's fine. Tiger 3. So you go. We won! We did it! Okay. I don't know why I scooped. That was really, really weird. Yeah, but, sure. Let's take a look here. Um, I wish they had, like, all lands in their hand or something like that, because their board looks really good. They have Virtue. They can't really attack it if a 9-9. Nine -nine. But they still have this. I guess they may just had like no answer to harbor and they just die next turn. Ah, eh, sure. Whatever, I'll take it. Get back in the game here. Back in the game. Oh yeah. Oh man, it's the Shitter Brigade here. Still a piece of Oh yeah, I love it. We're one uh 
White Knight Aaron DeVio from a good hand here. We're keeping this one. Officers and Frontliners. Did I win that match? I probably did. We were watching an old SG match during uh, during my lunch break there on stream for all you YouTube folks. And uh, it was uh, from the Invitational in 2014, I think. It's playing blue eye control. Pretty fun. Um, all right, so we draw a Zephyr Sentinel. And they are playing a Cottage. Going to jam his officer. Try to get some beats in. Did top eight that Invitational, so I probably won. You know, won most of the matches that, that weekend. A little Golgari action here. And they're going to Mosswood make a 3 2. Sure. Wedding announcement is a great draw. Uh, excellent, excellent draw. I think I'm pretty happy if they just trade and just like cast in the graveyard next turn. Just don't develop their board at all. So, play Beachhead. And then, I'll probably just jam both frontliners because I want to get, uh, I want to save this for later. So, we're going to trade here, play these. This is fun. Imagine they're blocking, so. And then we're just like jamming up these. Now they're, they're stuck playing this next turn. They miss they miss a miss out on a mana. Half the draw. Don't affect the board. It's all pretty good, so. And if they don't cast this, great. So yeah, so sure. It's like that's their whole turn. That's awesome for us. Um The only downside here is I want to make a token. I want to go wide, not draw a card. So I'm gonna attack with one of these. Which is like, uh, that's probably worse, right? I should probably just attack and attack. We're attacking for four or one. I need to make a token. Eh, just a straw card, whatever. Could have cut down, I guess, but yeah. pump, pump. Bam, bam, bam. Boom, boom, boom. Bing, bing, bing. And uh, draw a card. We have Sentinel. We have Officer. Big on tap step here. Didn't miss the pigs. So we're, we're picking later. We're going to move on from uh, standard and then do play some historic after this. Building a freshly brewed pig deck. Alright, so we can't attack a both here. Now it trades a little worse though, because like they have more mana to do this thing. I'm just going to play a bunch of stuff and say go, I think. Play both these, have Sentinel up and say go. And now they're going to kill something. I just save it, which is awesome. This card's really good. This card's like really, really good. Probably like the best card of his entire deck. Big tank. They want to burn a go for the throat on a crappy creature. I don't know. We're going to find out. Looks like they do. Oh, it's an edict. That's a bad Sure. Sack one of these. Obviously, the non targeted removal spell is good against my Zephyr Sentinel. Although, edicts are very bad against these anyway, so. Oh no! My little dude! He's gone now. Alright, fine. Rude. Very rude. And then we're gonna just end step, make. I'm sure we're gonna cast this thing. Try and return my frontliner. Make this thing bigger. Draw a Knight Errant of Eos. Oh yeah! Alright, so. I'm gonna go all the way here. We could just like attack for three, but I want to be able to tap all five so I, I can hit another one of these. Um, so let's do that. Let's go land. Play this. Like the idea of attacking for three, still getting a token is pretty awesome, but I think that the idea of finding another knight is even better. So I want to have the, the full five convoke so I can find a five drop. Top five cards and there we go. <laughs> Love it. Uh, knight Errant and Bunnicorn. It's funny because the veteran's actually a little appealing too. Just to gain some life and make sure we're gonna win the race here, but this is great. Let's take Bonacore and take Knight Errant. And it's funny, we could just like activate the recruiter. They have four cards in hand, they're all spells. Um so didn't play a land last turn. Bonacorn probably just dies to go for the throat. We could just like activate recruiter, have a 5-5 on defense, and then next turn unload. Cause I'm not playing. I'm not, I'm not playing my. Life. I could also like. I could play. I can't do it. Never mind. I play the Bonicorn. Then I'm just saying go, wasting two mana. All right, sweepers. You know, 
They actually, they, they could have one Gixis Command on their deck. That is fair. Um, this is like a... Kind of chill. Hit the old flipperoni. I guess now with some more things don't die to command, so that's kind of cool too. Here's Shieldred. That's fine. Makes me wish I had taken the uh, life gain guy a little bit, but that's fine. Pop this thing off. Alright, so uh, here's a veteran. And then the, the Harbin also. Probably just kills them. These are not soldiers. Soldier, soldiers. We have not enough soldiers for that just yet. I think I actually like the idea of the veteran. Honestly, veteran sentinel is pretty... I'm sorry, there's only one. I'm, I'm thinking of, a, of the Niner. I'll only get one card here. Um, just take the Veteran. Take the Veteran, dump my hand again. Lose some life. Draw Sentinel. Beautiful. This card's gas. Play Veteran. We're going to attack for four in the air, probably. I don't know what we're going to do yet. Let's go, let's go that. I want the Bunny Corn on defense. Let's just go... Tap you, 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 you. Five cards again. Six like gas. Uh, all right, and then we're gonna. I want to be able to leave up my sentinel. And I guess I want to attack with the f with these two. Stack with these. This game's so over. <laughs> like, um. I think I was going to leave up Reinforcements and Sentinel. Sure. Like, how do they ever win this game? Right? Like, because the even Gix's Command isn't even that good right now, so... Alright, so we just say go. The Bonacorn's, like, one big creature. Or we better just go wide here. Harbin wants, uh... Five attacking soldiers, right? We only have four. Unless I misread the card. Yeah, attack of five more soldiers. We had one, two, three, four. We had four soldiers. These are these are not soldiers. These are just humans. It is kind of a weird deck. Is like the there are a lot of non-soldiers in this soldier deck, but don't see how my opponent could ever hope to win this game. Bunny Core is more for like the like the mirror matchups, you know, mono white, mono red, mirror, stuff like that. I think Sanders is phenomenal right now. Absolutely phenomenal. Uh best it's been in a long time. We've been playing cool decks from Worlds. Worlds was like like a month ago at this point, but there's still been more cool decks to play. Just over and over. There's so many cool decks to play, so. Alright, so it's Dread Knight. I mean they're just they're just like so dead, right? Like, what are they even doing? Um, just bounce this. I mean, 15. I got a Leroy and Chat, please. Draw a card, whatever. Odawara, too. That's a guess. Yeah, this, this is pretty tight. Send it! So chat asks, um, what separates pro players from average or above average players? Still pretty new to competitive, understanding is the meta, is it understanding optimal plays, or a final leap? Um, there's a, a lot of it's just like experience and play skill, you know? Um, I think you can make, you can sort of like hide that a little bit with good deck selection. Uh, where if you're just like a decent player, but you're really, really good at selecting decks, you can kind of like mitigate that a little bit, you know? But it really is just like being able to play at a high level, being able to to read your opponent's hands, to have a, to have to have good plans all the time, know what you do in matchups, to read your opponent's hands, you know, to, to to sequence all of your cards right, you know, the sort of like what makes a good magic player. Might, might be a good article actually, but like you know, sequencing, um, having a plan, reading your opponent's hand, um, yeah, you know, just a lot of stuff. It's the kind of thing where like for someone who's played like for a really long time, like I have. You say you say you say for granted, and then you watch someone who's newer or someone less, less, less experienced play a game, and you're like, "Oh, right, this is the things that I do, but people don't do." Like this, hey, do this, hey, do that, hey, do this kind of thing, you know. So, 
Uh, all right, so they're playing uh, Golgari, and we're going to want to cut the bunnies. I think I want these emperors. I want the welcomes too, right? Welcomes really bad against, uh, what's it called, the uh, bunnies? I want these destroy evils. Welcomes bad against the, uh, cut these. Uh, Glissa, 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 Glissa. Mage Spears are really awkward on the draw. I'm going to shave in those. Awesome, Bean. Sanders freaking great. A lot of negative, not a lot of negative echo chambers of magic, of like this sucks, this sucks, Sander always sucks. I'm like, no, have you actually played Sander? No, looks well, great. Um, all right, something like this. Let's, the smites are pretty good against them actually too. Smite stops all the two drops. We're on the draw. Let me just board out all the counter spells. Let's try this. I'm actually, I, I have no idea if this is right or not, but... <laughs> um, Will Santa be perfect with an Atraxa ban? I think Atraxa and Shoulder are two cards. If I could, like, snap my finger and get rid of them, I would. But I wouldn't ban either one of them, so... Thanks, Jim. I appreciate it. Alright, hand's good. Suppose that cutting counter spells makes us a little softer to... Uh, to get this command, but we can kind of go wider than that, too. Matt says, if you're starting out, you can get pretty far by picking a deck, playing it a lot, learning the matchups. Yeah, but the thing is that, like, I think that there's being good at magic, there's being good at a deck. Uh, the decks in standard, the reason why I like standard a lot, is that decks in standard are often mostly just, like, you're just playing magic. You know, when you're playing modern, you say you're playing modern Storm or modern Tron, you can get really, really good with your Storm or Tron deck, but you're not really good at magic because you are good at one specific thing in magic. But, like, if you were just given a random deck, you wouldn't necessarily do well with it. Whereas if you have, like, just a generic, general, good skill at magic, you can kind of figure most things out. That's why limited players tend to be very, very good. Limited is, like, a really uh, really good skill tester. Um, all right, so play, play, play the knight here. We have wedding announcement. I almost don't hate just, like, casting Harbin. So if they kill Harbin, don't play Eglissa. I'm pretty happy. Let's do that. Kill this. Play this. So you go. I also think that, so Jim says in chat, I'm playing Raisins Beta, hit Mythic a few times, but don't consider myself good as I play a bunch. That's usually the mark of a pretty strong player. Um, if, you, if you don't think you're good, and you can make Mythic, and you do like pretty well, you're probably pretty solid. Um, the players who think they're good are often, often the players who aren't good. Uh, unfortunately, we don't really have FNM anymore, but like very, very common thing in Magic was like your FNM player who would like 4 FNM every week, and they were like fine, but they would think where they were like the nut, and they were just like not actually very good at all. Um, usually if you think you're good, with, like with most things, if you think you're good, you're probably not. If you recognize that you're like, all right, probably be better, you're probably pretty solid, you know? Um, all right, so they kill my thing and attack. It's pretty good for them, but whatever, it's fun. Could have Path of Peril as well, it's true. Just gonna play out the wedding announcement. Do the thing. King kill all reset makes it much... Um, you can be, like, good at, like, an aggro deck or a control deck or something like that specifically. Oh, wow. That's gross. I mean, you got value off of it, but... I think it's a real little work to do here, though, honestly. They're attacking me and kind of, like, trying to race, which is really good for us, so... We need some actual spells here, but... This is fine. We have, like, you know, double reinforcements and Gliss and the Yanjo. That's really it. Get to gain four life. You know, but like, we need to do a little, little bit with, with, with these one ones. We do have the, the beachheads, which is kind of cool. Liliana of the Veil. What a stinker. How do you keep this card in against me? Am I raise the alarm deck? You know, like, I'm playing raise the alarm Lunark veterans. Each player discards a card, sure. Discards a virtue? That's awesome. <laughs> Alright, so, reinforcements. We have your speech heads, which is pretty nice, so. Alright. Um, again, during the... We're sure if I play this as a land, I think. So, just attack this Liliana and kill it, I guess. We'll throw away one creature for it. Um, if it's a veteran, I just freaking 
just like get it back, right? So just attack everything while you're on him. Whatever. Throw away one creature. They block this. I'll, I'll, I'll replay it and then just play Ganjo. I want to get to five to six mana to get to start activating Beachhead. So it's pretty awful Oleana there. It was literally three mana, both players discard. That's it. That was the entire spell. I, I guess gain four life or whatever, but let us say go. They have a Gixis command. He's a little ugly, but here's a Tortoise. And they reveal Path of Peril, go over the throat. Sick. Oh wait, I don't have soldiers, never mind. These aren't soldiers. Um, hold on, never mind. Waka, Forget it. Waka. I thought we had it. Uh, still not a bad draw, I guess, but uh, only four soldiers here, even with the Harbin, so we'll just say go here. It's pretty funny. <laughs> I got excited! Here comes Turtle. They get another land. That Cleric, Human. And call this like non-soldier soldiers. No blocks. It's happening to block a little bit because this card is a card you don't want you don't want to leave don't want to let attack over and over again, but Land or spell is fine here. Your shoulder is sure. No! Let that land! All right, any land but that land uh, would have been great there because act as beachhead. Now I'm very sad. So you go. I think we're in trouble now. Uh, unfortunately, we drew all all filler, no killer here. Just didn't really draw any big payoffs. And maybe the Harbins aren't very good against them. Honestly, we can shave one of those. Dies to cut down. It's hard to get critical mass anyway. Yeah. I think once we're on the plague, you know, I'll, I'll want the counter spells again too. So, watch your path of peril. Outland liberator is kind of annoying too. Ria was playing Canker Bloom in his version of a deck when we were testing for worlds. Um, eighteen. <sighs> Probably should have blocked this thing last turn. Honestly, I attacked the harbor. What am I doing? Yeah, we're in trouble. Uh, whatever. We're super dead, I think. We just need to draw, a, like, a knight or something. Yeah, that's bad. Alright. Wedding announcement. I mean... They get back turtle now? Yeah. Well, that's just very, very bad. The last few turns have been pretty bad. Uh, I think I should have just, like, not done... I should have done things very, very differently the last few turns, but it's fine. Um, attack with everything, they block one, play wedding announcement, draw, probably die, but whatever, sure. Will you draw, like, a raise the alarm off of the, uh, wedding announcement, I think? I guess I have these, let these veterans in play, right? But we're gonna draw, not, uh, not make a token. Best draw is probably Zephyr, Zephyr thingy. Bounce this thing, need some life, keep doing it. We also have the pump too, so like we're threatening pump a little bit, but block of reinforcements. That's fine. All right, down to sixteen. Play this. End turn. Draw another stupid land. Brutal. Get back turtle. They have two cottages too. I might just be dead here. Oh, yeah, we're, we're super dead. All right, that's fine. Need to draw like an actual thing there. That's fine. So kind of a tough game. Threw out a filler, but that's okay. Now we're in the play, I want these counter spells back in. And I would say, I don't want these smites. Still want destroy evil. I don't have to welcome that. I don't have to welcome, I don't think. Still want the emperors. Um, so just take out the front lines. The, the smites are like interesting, because they do, they do deal with both Glissa and the 3-2 pretty well. I don't need that, whatever, just freaking go. We got this. We got this. We're good. A little more killer this game. On the play. Love it. Keep. Double Oda War, a little awkward, but fine. I guess we're, we want to name Soldier, but we have freaking a cleric human. If I name Human. It's 
It's pretty funny. Human's actually a better name than soldiers in this deck. <laughs> All right, sure. Flame human. Right? Veteran. The only creatures that aren't humans are one were fox bodyguard. It's the only yeah. So sure, humans fun. Are there any popper decks that I like? No, I don't play popper. Robot guys got me boarded out. Just bad against the graveyard hate stuff. Make disappear. Don't mind if I do. Insigia. Probably cashing on almost anything here. Yeah, I'm just gonna get out of this. We're playing two weddings in a row here, so we're just gonna get going. Draw a knight errant. No, drop land. I thought that's a little flash over here. Alright, I mean, this is pretty cool. Get our weddings going. Um, if they have, like, the the wolf that kills this, like, it's pretty good for us, honestly. Just, like, three mana kill this, untap, do it again. We got a token off of it, so. Modern Arena 1. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, for a long time, but... Dread Knight again, and then no... Land. All right, so let's play this. Play this as I go. Hopefully, no glistening deluges. That was our big, our big thing for worlds. Was we, play, we obviously play white humans as a team. If we were sure there'd be no deluges. We were right. But deluges is the card that like really puts soldiers and uh, mono white into the ground. It's kind of cool that like Team Handshake and our team both came to the same conclusion that, that a white based aggro deck was good in this format. Uh, but we just disagreed on which one was, was the right one. We draw a Wandering Emperor, it's interesting. Um, I think we just say go. We, um, it's funny, if they go to kill my thing and I bounce it, it's kind of sweet. I want to get tokens here, not um, not cards. And then attacks are bad too. Just gonna say it. Keep both these in our hand. Flip a Roni. Say go. Oh, now this thing, oh right, I forgot this thing, uh, I forgot about the whole day night thing. Um, I'll just... Right. That's bad. Um, that's on me. I don't know if I had a way to, like, actually play around it, but... Yeah, so... They go to Knight. They have Frenzy Trap Breaker now. This is the 3-3. Three, three. When it attacks, they disenchant. I might just Odawara it. They could sack it in response, but whatever. Yeah, I'm just gonna Odawara it. Whatever, sure. This is not exactly what I wanted to do, but I think it's fine. We also have 12 power in play, so like... Pigs are coming. Cool. So that's fine. And they're going to kill the, the one that hasn't... That's interesting. Kill the Anthem. Not the one that's going to make a token next turn. Sure. Imagine if they ain't listening to the illusion, they would have not done that, so. Just a lot of poopers. No soldiers here. They're gonna virtue one token. Sure. We draw Zephyr Sentinel. Um, now it's time to attack with everything, I think. And we'll just Emperor Plus. Last turn, last turn we, were, we were getting uh we were getting two tokens. Now we're only getting one, so we should take, just take the draw. Emperor plus, deal four, have an Emperor in play. Obviously, they can pay pay a life to draw a card if they want to. Gonna hold the Aganjo and just say go. Flip a Roni, draw a card. Looks pretty good. Galissa Sunslayer, get off my game. You are dead. Go away. Get off my plate. You're dead. You got nothing. Alright, we're gonna go, uh... It doesn't freaking matter what we do, honestly. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I should make a token. Talk about everything again, Joe. Make a token, play this thing up. I guess I'll actually hold the recruitment officer. I'm actually I'll actually hold the officer and then play the other Ganjo too. Um so I can hold up Zephyr Sentinel. Get out of town. Yeah, you know what? Actually, this is dumb. Because I, I want to play around a sweeper. I should have just plussed. Whatever, sure. 
I mean, like, if they have a sweeper, it's this maze. This is worse, but I have Sentinel, whatever. I mean, it's a glistening data, which is a limb, too. Yeah, sure. So that's, that's fine. So, sweet. That, uh, that works for me. All right, so yeah. Soldier, this deck's dope. I'm a, I'm a fan. Call, call, consider me a fan. I just love, like, synergy decks, you know? Decks that just, like, play some shitters, but you put it all together, and it's like, it's, it does a really, really cool thing. It's got some interaction. got some cool stuff going on. Kind of a weird deck list, obviously, in the sense that, like, it's like a soldier deck not playing many soldiers. But, I mean, hey, if it works, it works. Simon Nielsen, our player of the year, went to over this deck, and I think it's, I think it's great. Uh, if you love this kind of, like, you know, scrappy, crappy deck, the only fear is if folks want to beat you, they can. Uh, Glistening Deluge, a lot of good ones, you know, against this deck for sure. Glistening Deluge really mean the, the, the A number one. Uh, this deck does have counter spells at least. You know, the, the mono white deck that I played at Worlds, the human deck, had no real good answer against Deluge. So having counters is pretty cool as a way to kind of play around that, but deck's gas. Love it. Cool. So, stream will keep going. YouTube folks, love you, like, comment, subscribe, and let's roll.